Today on Locked In with Trey, we are going to discuss why you should not start the dreadlocks over. So, stay tuned. Now, I know you're thinking, Trey, I was just about to start my dreadlocks over and you called me right before I was about to jump off the bridge. Pause. We ain't, we ain't going to uh, ruin it. I was just about to start my dreadlocks over and now you come out with this video. I had to do it because there's been so many people start their dreadlocking journey over because they feel like they could be better. They feel like their dreadlocks could look better or look a certain way. And it's not that they're even tired of dreadlocks. They're literally wanting to start the dreadlocking process over because they feel like their dreads could look better. And I'm here to try to prevent you from doing that. So let's get into it. Okay, first on the list, and keep in mind these are not in any particular order, but first on the list is they haven't reached the full potential. You have not committed and gone the length of a potential season locker. I mean, think about it. You haven't even gone your full year yet. You're still in the starter phase. I'm speaking to you starter locks. You have not gone a full year yet, so do not start your locks over because you feel like they can be better. You don't even know what your locks look like all the way yet. You have to wait at least a year plus, a year max to even see what your locks are going to do. Because even now, at my stage right now, and I'm on my 10th month, like I've been telling you guys, my locks haven't fully reached what they're going to do yet. It's only been 10 months. I haven't even reached my year yet. In two months, I'll be there. But that's what I'm trying to say. You haven't even gone the full length of a seasoned locker yet to start your locks over because you don't like the way they look. Everybody goes through a phase that they do not like. So, man, hang in there. Do not start your dreadlocks over just because you don't like the way they look right now. Don't do that because you're going to regret it and you're going to have to start that whole process over, which leads me to the next thing is that very thing, starting the process over. You do not want to have to go through that starter phase again, especially if you have made it your year, two years or whatever. You know what it was like to go through it. Now, if you're doing it because you don't care and it's your hair and boom, boom, bow, that's fine. Do you? Hey, more power to you. But if you're doing it because you feel like your dress could be better and you're still in your starter lock phase, keep in mind, I'm talking to you starter locks. If you're doing it because you feel like they can be better, man, you're wasting your time because you have to go through that phase. You have to go through that process. Everybody does. It don't matter if you got lock extensions or if you got the little fake locks in your head. You know what I mean? Like you still got to go through that process. It's no going around it at all. Your hair still got to lock up. You still got to worry about the type of oils and products and stuff you put in your head. So there's no missing out on that process. So do not start your locks over if you're in the starter lock phase just because you feel like they can look better. If you've gone almost a year or two years and you're like, hey, I want to start my locks over because I feel like I can do something better. Don't, don't do that, man. Wait it out. See what you have first. See what you have. And plus, it, it helps build character. It helps build patience. It helps build longevity to something better that's beyond you. And I can say that it's something that I've learned thus far, that locks in life are one and the same. When you have locks, you understand. If you don't have locks, I don't expect you to understand. But there's a lot of things that I've learned from growing locks out that relate to life so much. Like, man. But if you don't understand what I'm talking about, grow some locks and then you will see. And if you understand what I'm talking about, drop it down in the comments and hey, let's hash it out. And the last and final reason, and keep in mind, there's so many other reasons why you should not start your dreadlocks over. But this is just, you know, just a small little list. I could go on and on and I'll probably do another video on this. But the last and final reason is your influence. If you are an influencer in the lock community, this is a prime reason why you should not start your dreadlocks over because you've built this community of people who are supporting you and who've watched your lock journey up until this point just for you to cut your locks off. And now the people who looked up to you and grew their locks with you, now they're like, man, now I got locks and you don't. Even though you taught me how to get locks, I look like I should be teaching you now. And I've been seeing that a lot here lately. You know, a few influencers that people look up to, especially on this platform, like 
Dynasty TV and Gunther the Great, they both chopped their locks off. Even though they're growing their locks back, they built this whole community of people that support them and they rocking with them hardcore. I'm rocking with them. And I was just looking at how people were like, man, they were sad and let down because they cut their hair. And I'm thinking like, to be honest, they've had the time and the work put in to be able to do whatever they want with their hair. They, they've been in the game for some years now, so they can do whatever. They maxed out whatever time or time frame they had for their dreadlocks, if they even had a time frame. They might not have had a time frame, but they've been in the lock game for so long to where they probably got tired of it and was like, hey, I wanna try something different. I wanna start a new set that's different and whatever. It's not that I didn't like my old set, I'm just ready to move on and try something else. And I say all that to say this, you know the goals you have for growing locks out. You know the goals you have for life in general. So make sure you make the proper steps to reach those goals. Don't let anything knock you off your path or deter you from reaching that goal, man, because it's only you and your locks. You have full control. Now, if you stop midway and you had a goal of a year and you stopped at six months, you didn't finish that goal. You failed, brother. You failed, sister. You you backed out. And if you do that in something simple as growing dreadlocks out, you would do it in other areas of your life. So take this for what it's worth. Stick to something. Find something you're good at, like growing locks. If you decide, hey, I want to start my locks today. I'm already in my lock journey and I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to give myself three years, four years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever. Make sure you see it all the way through. I went in spaces so far out though, 20 years, that's a long time from now. And me personally, I wouldn't space it out that far, but I would give myself, you know, maybe let's say three years, you know, five years or less. Give myself a time that I feel like I know is reachable, that I know is obtainable and, you know, set my mind to it and get it done. But let me know down in the comments of what you think about why you shouldn't start your dreadlocks over and we'll hash it out. And you already know what it is. It's your boy Trey Smith bringing you love, peace, and prosperity forevermore throughout your life. Don't you forget it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Peace.